Water is a critical ingredient in the prosperity of the planet. It is essential to health, to food security, economic growth, healthy ecosystems, and to energy. And water is critical to issues of peace and conflict. Its central role in human life often makes it a cornerstone of any effort to address the numerous challenges that stand in the way of building healthy, prosperous, and peaceful communities. In fact, over 90% of USAID's water priority countries are fragile or affected by conflict. In these cases, water can be part of the problem, but it can also be part of the solution. Lessons learned from cases around the world illustrate how investments in good water management can help build peace and at the same time how investing in peace can help meet water challenges. People have different and often competing water-related interests. The challenge is resolving those competing interests peacefully. Therefore, good water management is conflict management. And just as we must try to prevent hostility over competing water interests, we must seize the opportunity for cooperation over water to become a pathway to wider trust and peace among communities. Our shared dependence on water provides an opportunity for communities to come together over something as simple as making clean water more available to all. If designed with peace goals in mind, water management initiatives can be important stepping stones toward broader peace. At the same time, peace-building efforts can enable communities to better adapt to water-related stress. In East Africa, one humanitarian NGO applied common peace-building techniques like conflict mapping to build trust among communities in an economically and ecologically stressed area of the region. The resulting cooperation and confidence among these communities proved to have resilience building benefits beyond just avoiding violence. When the region was beset by a severe drought, those communities who had built trust with others and developed resource use arrangements were better able to adapt to those environmental stresses. Pastoralists could move their livestock through territory controlled by the former adversaries to find better grazing opportunities or to sell their animals at market. This important adaptation to environmental realities would have been much riskier and likely not possible at all had it not been for their earlier peace-building work. In this way, collaboration and trust are also central to successful natural resource management and lowering vulnerability to water scarcity, food insecurity, and land degradation. Opportunities like the last two examples exist the world over. Environmental peace building requires all of us to think creatively, often outside of our own sector approaches. Early adopters of these approaches have learned valuable lessons to share with those who also want to seize opportunities to better manage water and to build peace at the same time. USAID has guidance and technical resources available to assist practitioners working to capture the peace dividend of water and the water dividends of peace.